Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually fill in a series of number in Excel. Okay, like 1 to 30. How do you do it? Okay, so let's start off with uh, I select all this data first. Uh, in Excel, you can actually use a command shift and then a cursor down. You highlight everything from the first one to the last one. Command shift, cursor down. Let's delete it. Let's say, uh, Previously, like what you have seen from my previous video, what I did was one, two, three. I'll normally fill the first three. Then I highlight the first three. Shift click. Okay. Then I navigate my mouse to lower right hand corner and then I drag down to where I want to I mean the number to stop. Okay, say so here at 30. This is how I did, right? Lower right hand corner, then the cursor would change. Okay. Now another method would be the built-in function in Excel. So another method is uh, I would use um, go to home and then go to view. Now before to do that what happened is say I want to do it here let's say I start with 1 okay so I need to have the first number okay I want to have start with first number click here then I go to view if you have selected amount of, um, amount of cell here in the column, then you may go down or otherwise you go to series. So here, a new window pops up and it says series in it says row or column. Do you want to view number go downwards or to the right? Row is to the right, column is downwards. So it's down, linear, step value plus one, isn't it? Step one, so meaning one plus one here, there's two. Stop value says you have huge number of data let's say I have uh, 600 perhaps okay then uh, 600 linear then okay then it will go the running number will go it will fill up with until 600 it will stop to do that you click on command cursor down then it will go to 600 Excel will detect the last cell with numbers uh, command cursor up and down now another method is uh, how about I want to use equation okay instead of using the built-in function you may actually use built-in function but if you want to use a uh, uh, equation which is quite useful sometimes you use row say I want to do uh, row maybe I start with row this cell I want to one since I'm E so column E you want is one where I want it to be even number okay say I want even number so here what happened um, row 1 even number so I need times 2 in order to be even number okay now I need to actually uh, go down to the last digit I mean the last uh, number okay but one way to do it since I have number here already I press command down so this is the last cell I want. So I navigate my cursor to here, and then go back down, up, shift, click. Okay, we use a quite lots of key, uh, shortcut key here. Okay, command D, command D for Mac system. But if you're using Windows system, it will be Control D, meaning you feel downwards. Now the same method can be used, say if I want to fill from left to right, so here, here to say here, I want to fill from here to here. So all you need to do is I press on command R. So it will always clone the first number. So since it's 2, so it will follow by 2 because here I always use E1 times 2. So E1 times 2. I didn't go downwards. But then we go downwards, it's 2, it will change. Here, you always clone the one on the left. Command R. Okay? But we are not going, uh, we are not doing that in this video. So, delete it. So you're going to go down, Command D. D is down. The same is true if you want an odd number. So 
so I use row g1 start with the first digit I mean the first cell times 2 get even then it minus 1 this is how you get odd number times 2 minus 1 then uh, go down to maybe here shift click command D you get all the odd number okay so uh, I think that's basically all the drag method the built-in field function the equation method I mean uh, I'm using Mac so I use command D but if it were to be window system it would be control D okay so this one is for Mac system this one is for window system I hope you find this video useful depending on uh, which way that helps you appreciate the thumbs up Stay tuned to my next video.